Lord, we are at a point in time where we need to be honest with you. As we heard in scripture this morning, there are times in which we all feel alone. We don't like to admit it, but it is part and parcel of our life. And in those times, we anxiously await the promise of your coming, the birth of the Holy Child in our hearts. Our expectations are high, but like Mary, we are also timid and afraid. We don't know for sure how our lives will be changed with the coming of Emmanuel, God with us. We only know that if we truly seek to embrace the newborn babe, our lives will be forever changed. This holy child is the source of all joy. It is our eternal hope. It is God with us. This holy child will bring light to the hidden corners of our lives. This holy child will touch us where we are wounded and bring healing and new life. This holy child will cause our hearts to leap and wonder and our souls to swell in love. This is the promise. This is what we wait. This is what we anticipate to have happen. And so, Lord, we have so many things to turn over to you. There are so many things in our lives in which we are awaiting this coming, and now we hear by faith we can turn it over to you. And so we pray, fill us this day. Fill us with compassion for one another. We lift our prayers for our children, bright and filled with wonder, as well as for those children without food to eat or a place to lay their heads. We pray for those who have lost loved ones and who face this holy season with only their memories. We pray for service men and women and their families who are separated this Christmas, for the sick, the lonely, and the broken in our midst, and for all peoples of the world struggling for life, livelihood, and a sense of purpose and justice. Help us today to share the peace, the hope, and the love of this season. May the coming of the Holy Child inspire us to new ways of relating to one another as broken relationships are made whole again. Give us the courage to reach out. And so we wait still. But now we've heard today we can wait actively as messengers messengers of love and grace as we we think of ways to share in our waiting the anticipation of the love of your son jesus christ and we seek signs and reassurances that the gift of emmanuel will come to us and we invite other people to participate with us in that act of faith we seek to be restored by your grace and in your love so that we might truly appreciate and appreciate the precious gift we are about to receive. God of the unexpected, surprise us once again with those moments, moments of insight as we join our hearts and minds in joyful worship with you this day. Let us be a messenger or at least receive the messengers that you will bring this season. Enable us to celebrate with what has been even as we venture forward to celebrate what will be as we wait. And so with all of us together, we pray, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and let it begin today. For we pray in the one who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, how will it be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Would you guys stand and sing with us?
finished just a couple minutes early, so I hope that you can uh, meet one another. There's a green card that you can let us know you're here and share it outside. We are going to a congregational meeting in the sanctuary. Brief, five minutes, we're going to elect several elders and a ministry team leader.